Me, Arnold. What's up? Yeah. Looks like everything's getting weird and buggy. You opened a dimensional portal, and the universe threw you into a GTA 5 game. Welcome to Los Santos. Are you ready to become the richest and most powerful man in the city? Get in the car and let's go. Meet Michael, one of the three main characters of the game. What about the first mission? Show us your shooting skills, Arnie. So, more to the point, it's no secret that Los Santos is totally criminal in a very dangerous city. To begin with, I propose we change your image. Otherwise, you look like a Minecraft fan. A couple of brutal tattoos certainly wouldn't hurt. Now, you're a real gangster ready to rob a bank. Plan is this. You quietly enter the building, shoot the armored glass out, blow up the vault door, and take all the gold. Now let's blow this taco stand. To run faster, in GTA, you don't need to run, but to jump. Did you know that the real weight of the weapons and gold that you now have is over half a ton? But in GTA, it doesn't matter. They're right behind you. You need to hide. And do Doing this is very simple. You just need to hide in a quiet place, and after a while, they'll forget about you. Wow, look! You've done really well, Arnold. Now you can safely spend your money on parties, expensive suits, buy up all the real estate in the city, and wake up to the most beautiful view from your window. But this gets pretty boring pretty fast. Did you forget? You're a real gangster now, Arnie. Oh, yeah! The extreme car chase! It's really cool! Move, Arnold! Or you get shot! An airplane? Past like if you know how to fly in GTA. Hmm, it seems you're out of luck, Arnold. Somehow you've ended up in a modified GTA with a giant megalodon. All right, you're wasted, Arnold. Mission failed. Wait, Arnold, you survived! What is this? New GTA! Oh dear, that's not the bright future people are thinking about. Indeed, by 2050, the Earth is suffering from global warming. The planet's population has grown to over 10 billion people. This overpopulation has caused a shortage of fresh water. Can you imagine? The planet is on the brink of destruction and they're fighting over Pepsi. All right, back to our mission. In 2050, everyone has cybernetic implants. And since enemy drones can detect implants at a distance of 10 kilometers, you, Arnold, are the most undetectable and invulnerable person in 2050. You are the one who will help change the course of the war. Soldiers assemble. And so, Arnold, the enemy has been spotted in the north, but the way is blocked by electromagnetic guns. Instead of projectiles, they fire electrical impulses, and the impulse speed exceeds 7,000 kilometers an hour. We have to find shelter. Quick, go down into the subway. You escape the guns, Arnold, but there are other problems now. Drones detected by scanners. And don't worry, Arnold, remember, these drones won't even notice you. You just need to rush past them and turn off the power. Well done, Arnold. The future sure wasn't ready for the likes of you. Keep going, buddy. You're almost there. It's time to get to the surface. Arnold, there are a lot of enemies around. Get into the exosuit. With it, you can become a super soldier and travel long distances without getting tired. And all physical activity becomes 20 times easier than it was before. You're unstoppable now, Arnold. Now you just need to figure out the controls. Huh? Arnold, no! You just killed yourself from the future. Okay, well, no time to grieve. Your enemies are coming. You have a flamethrower. Use it! Oh, yeah. No one ever thought that one day this would happen in Hollywood. <laughs> Arnold, look out! A rocket! Wow, Arnold, congratulations. You died and went to heaven. Arnold, get in line and wait for St. Peter to let you in. Ooh, how cool is this? Hey, wow, look, is that John Lennon? No, wait, it's just Jesus. 
here, there's even a wall of paintings of God made by great historical artists. Here, there's e in ancient times, people believe that God was oh. terrifying and bloodthirsty. For example, Aztecs constantly sacrificed people to their god Huitzilopochtli to make it rain. The ancient Greek gods personified human qualities or natural phenomena. Unfortunately, Arnie, in the Christian paradise, unlike the Muslim one, you don't get 72 virgins. But hey, look, right there, it's John Lennon. Or is that Jesus again? And here he is. He has many names. The Creator, Jehovah, Adonai, Yahweh, God. Oh, shh. He's sleeping. You probably shouldn't mess with his stuff, Arnie. Arnold, what are you thinking? You can't go in there. This is the control center for the whole world. Don't touch anything, Arnold. Oh, this is not good. Over the past few centuries, religious belief in the world has been dropping. And God is the most popular being in the world has a lot of haters. You dare play God, Arnold. Man is simply too greedy for this role. There are lots of examples from history, and they all ended pretty badly. Arnold, stop! This ain't a joke, buddy. Great. Now everything's gone haywire. Fanatical faith has always led to wars. And now a nuclear crusade has begun. Arnold, stop before it's too late. Are you even listening to me? Phew, just in time. Hey, God, don't take this the wrong way, but... You can forget about the benefits of civilization. After all, foreign economic relations aren't needed anymore, and each country will now work just for itself. But what that means is if before there wasn't any heavy industry in your country, like, for example, making vehicles, now you won't be able to get a new car, and all you can ever hope for is some crappy bicycle at best. And I'm not saying that all social media has disappeared, but now you can only have private conversations with your friends somewhere deep in the woods and with the radio turned up really loud. And now, even if you want a haircut, your hairstyle will need to get an approval from the local administration. And there are just a limited number of government-approved hairdos. But what's most frightening is that all countries now suspect each other of being a potential threat. So almost all resources of every country are invested in military buildups. And alas, one of these days, somebody's gonna break down and hit that big red button. Arnold, you saved the world! Who would have thought your colorblindness would save the planet? We're holding an Among Us style party. It's a popular game with over 500 million players and more than any other game in history. With 97% of players playing the free version on mobile devices, but most of the revenue is generated from the paid PC version. Of course, we're playing the free version. If it's free, I'll play as well. And I chose Brown for a reason, because he's kicked out less than 65% of the time. In more than 90% of votes, people choose choose to kick out black, and it's the exact color you have, Arnold. Let the games begin. The most important thing is to act quickly, because you can be killed at any time. And here's the first murder. Don't worry, we have a lot of detectives here. They'll immediately figure out that you're not the imposter. Oops. I'm pretty sure you were thrown under the bus here, Arnold. It's time to get the hell out of here before you're chucked out into space. You need to complete tasks in the game to make it clear to the rest of the players that you're not the imposter. Whoops, this room is already occupied. Let's not do this couple. There's a new task. You need to extinguish the fire in the electrical room. Looks like it worked. They believe you. Come on, help out this player. I think I saw a fire extinguisher. Arnold, someone is seriously trying to frame you. Moreover, according to statistics, the electrical and admin rooms are the most dangerous places. If you're actually an imposter, you need to blow up the engine and win the game. It's not working. That's cool, Arnold. So you aren't an imposter. Congratulations. Careful. Got you, my friend. Forgive me. We had fun.
But now you and I have to part ways. But we know for sure you're not an imposter. Now we just have to find out who is. But sometimes the imposter is much closer than it seems. This is another lesson for you. Arnold, there are no friends in Among Us. <laughs> the floor is lava, but here it's real lava. Cool, right? This is what an ordinary children's game can lead to. Global catastrophe. Don't touch the floor, Arnie. The temperature of lava can reach 1,200 degrees Celsius. You can move around using any items you see. But remember, the chair will burn up in just three seconds, your bed will disappear in five, and your TV will melt faster than a single TV commercial. Come up onto the roof. Hey, don't fall off. If you fall into the lava, you'll get a serious burn that'll destroy all your nerve endings and boil your subcutaneous fat. But on the bright side, this does mean you won't even have time to feel how the lava burns you all the way to the bone. Get it together, man. Oh no, you idiot. Metal constructions will always heat up the fastest, you dimwit. But take it easy. Even if you fall, you won't drown. Lava is not as liquid as it seems. Counterintuitively, its density is even higher than that of concrete. As for walking on lava, you simply need special asbestos boots just like geologists use. Wow, it's getting hot. At this temperature, all the water in the oceans will boil and turn into a ginormous pod of fish soup. It's time to save the world's last fish. But really, the worst thing is not the hot lava, but what happens when it cools down? As it loses temperature, lava creates acid clouds of steam and gas, and they contain teeny tiny glass particles that are dangerous to humans. But don't worry, soon the whole world will turn into the Hawaiian Islands. Hey, who turned off the light? Hmm. Arnold, you better not touch anything. What's going on? Mother of God, it looks like we're now in the 13th century, and we're here during the Holy Inquisition. Hey. What an awesome trip. The main mission of the Inquisition was fighting the heretics. Hey, what did Arnold even do? Ooh, I think I get it now. They mistook your phone for a weapon of black Ooh. magic. The Inquisition didn't get along so well with progress. When Giordano Bruno proved that the Earth revolves around the sun, it completely contradicted Catholic ideas. Arnold, you're out of luck. In those days, all redheads were suspected of having ties with the devil. Relax. At first, they'll just question you. Take a seat and calm down. The chairs here are made of iron, specifically so that they can be heated. Confessions were usually obtained through torture. You need to give up heresy, Arnold. During the time of the Inquisition, a lot of heathen rituals were mistaken for black magic. They tried to convert heathens to Catholicism. Come on, Arnold, embrace Catholicism and you'll be free. It's true the Inquisition sometimes let those truly repentant go free. Holy baloney, what now? It looks like someone reported you. People often accused others of heresy in order to get rid of them. I don't know if you can endure any more of these tortures, Arnold. Meet the Spanish boot, the heretic's fork, and the Judas cradle. Arnold, I heavily advise you to confess about everything. Okay, by signing this, you agree that you're a necromancer, a magician, and a gnome. The positive thing is that the tortures are over, and the Inquisition, in fact, did not execute people. After confessing, the offender was sentenced in a state court. Calm down, Arnie. No one will burn you. According to the law, they'll just chop your head off. Wow, it looks like everyone is scared of your ability to release flames from your hands. It seems to be powerful magic. 
These medieval Catholics are so wild. They believe in every... Sorry, Arnold. I'm not a big fan of such gory scenarios. So let's take a look at some interesting information. Let's wish Arnold's new friends a big bon appetit. Now, we should probably get to know them a little better. So, werewolves are called lycanthropes. That's the name they got from ancient Greece. The author of the term is Herodotus, a historian from 2,500 years ago, who, when describing Scythia, mentioned people who could instantly turn into wolves. As for vampires, the word vampire first appeared in the Oxford English Dictionary back in 1734. Arnold, you're alive! I'm so happy! But wait, what's that on your neck? No, you gotta be kidding me! You're actually the first person ever to get bitten by both a vampire and a werewolf at the same time. I'm already wondering just what the heck you're gonna look like. Well, you try to figure out how that's gonna work. I'll tell you an interesting fact. In 1999, 907 Americans took out insurance policies on themselves in case they suddenly turned into werewolves during a full moon. Arnold, looking like that, you'd be discovered a little too quickly. You need to choose a less obvious form. Moreover, back in medieval times, redheads were considered vampires. Ooh, Frankie has already added you to his friend list. That's sweet. He's also assembled from a bunch of random crap, just like you. Everyone knows about the ancient animosity that exists between vampires and werewolves, but I would have never guessed that I'd see such a thing in a single body. Oh, so you're getting hungry now. And you need food for two. Go, search for your victim. The perfect victim. Bon appetit, Arnie. Wait, Arnold, where are you? What did you expect? You can't go against the call of the wild. Just remember to clean up after your dog. Way to be a bloodsucker. With your moves, Arnold, you need to start thinking about going vegan. Ooh, I forgot to warn you. A double creature gets a double hunt. You need to put aside your differences, because you've got common enemies now. Prayer ain't gonna help you, buddy. And of course, garlic is deadly to you now, you moron. You're not the first victim of the hunt. In the 16th century, the French parliament passed a law to exterminate all shapeshifters. As a result, from 1520 to 1630, more than 30,000 people were killed in France who were thought to be werewolves. Lucky you, Arnold. The guys from Greenpeace are always on the lookout. Wow, this is Seiko Shidori, former captain of the Sky Guard. As a child, he was admitted to the Heaven Corps, where he defended his country from the Shingami, vampires, pirates, and girls und Panzer. When all his friends turned away from him, he was left alone with the darkness inside of him. Arnold, you are now in the most popular anime genre, Shonen. Shonen is a story about a hero that starts out at the bottom, then makes his way to the top, finally defeating his main opponent. You have to train hard to get stronger and understand his philosophy. Forward is the only way. Meet anime high school culture, an important period in the life of any anime teenager. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, in anime, Every girl is perfect. For some men, this overestimates the requirement for their significant other. And often enough, this rivalry is won by the wife of the drawn wife. Arnold, it seems like you were born to be an anime. A utopia like this can only be prevented by Gundams from the mecha and kaiju genres. To create an anime, you first have to draw a manga. Manga is pretty much just like a comic book, only you read it backwards. In Japan, they use more paper to print manga than for toilet paper. Anime has grown from cheap animation into an entire thriving industry. 
By the way, those two girls are your stepsisters. Don't worry. It's okay in the etchy genre. There he is, and you are prepared for this battle. Release your Bankai, and don't waste your Furioku. Hajime, harness the power of the founding titan. Control your Reiatsu. Seiko Shidori is weak. Only darkness is left at his disposal, and you have the light given to you by friendship. Remember what this is all for, and don't let anyone knock you off your feet! Why do you need this stuff, Arnie? You want to make a real-life version of Minecraft. Easy schmeasy. Did you know that Minecraft is the second best-selling game in the world after Tetris? And the very first version was created in just six days. So, which is better? Minecraft or real life? It'd probably be cool if, when life seemed too difficult, you could choose an easier mode. Here you need fear, neither scary stuff nor hunger. But it's really not that interesting. Let's choose survival mode. Now we have to act like in real life. Find food, build a house, defend yourself, and gain experience. Of course, it's much easier to do it in the game. With just one pickaxe, you can cut down a tree that will hang in the air, and you can get stoned by just breaking it for a few seconds. A day here lasts just 20 minutes, and even your pitiful, pixelated face can get someone's attention. You can eat as much fast food as you want, and you won't get fat. That's a plus. You'll always be comfortable any time of the year, and you don't even have to buy clothes. And you can use a cactus in your house instead of a trash can. It can make any object disappear. If you're bored, you can rename a sheep and it will shimmer in different colors. And yes, here, you can just meet a sheep on the street. Don't forget, it's Minecraft. Time to go home. Oh yeah, I forgot, it's easy to get your house stolen or destroyed. Looks like game over. <laughs> Seems like you played for a little too long today, Arnie. The only sensible solution is to go to bed. Good night, Arnold. Ooh. Spending the whole day playing video games won't go unnoticed. After such excitement, something terrible can happen. For example, sleep paralysis. REM sleep is a state in which the body is immobilized. With sleep paralysis, your brain wakes up, but your muscles stay frozen. So you can see and hear, but you can't move. During these moments, hallucinations start to occur, and it feels like a demon is sitting on you. But this isn't for long. What's wrong, Arnie? Are you afraid to sleep in the dark? About 10% of people on Earth suffer from nyctophobia, the fear of darkness. Scientists believe that this trait is genetically inherited. Our ancestors were afraid of being eaten by nocturnal predators, and so our imagination paints the most terrible pictures in the dark. Ooh, it looks like there's someone behind that window. Ha! Huh. In the world ranking of candy-ass scaredy pants, you, Arnold, get first place. All fear is formed in the amygdala of the brain. A feeling of fear is formed in this little tiny one and a half centimeter sac. There were actual cases when people's amygdala was destroyed due to a disease called Urbach White. This permanently disables the fear response. But this most definitely doesn't apply to you, Arnold. You're afraid of everything, even your own shadow. Okay, okay, I'll turn on the light, just so you know that nobody's here. But sleeping with the lights on is a bad idea, too. It suppresses the amount of melatonin produced during sleep, which can lead to excess weight. Therefore, the choice is obvious. In order not to become an overweight, yellow-bellied poltroon, you need to sleep in the dark. Yeah, falling asleep when it feels like someone else is in the room is not an easy task. Maybe it's just your imagination. Or maybe not. Good 
Good morning, Arnie Pig. Look, it's the famous Peppa Pig family. You're so lucky, Arnie. So many people would love to be in your shoes right now. Where are your manners, Arnold? The Peppa family are very conservative and intelligent British natives. Please, don't embarrass me. The Peppa Pig series has been translated into more than 40 languages and has been shown in 180 countries. Annual revenues exceed $1 billion. Approximately the same amount earned by Al Capone and his Chicago gang. Are you absolutely sure you want to put this business in jeopardy? Mm. Now, it looks like the real cartoon series. Mummy Pig teaches you how to hold a spoon, and Peppa teases Daddy Pig about his weight. The format of the three-minute series very quickly found its audience. During this time, the authors show a familiar, everyday situation and teach kids how to live life. Arnold, these are the famous puddle jumps. Look, everyone's in their branded shoes. Stop, where are you going? We already talked about this. Arnold, the police won't help you because Mrs. Rabbit, their family friend, works there. And now you're going to play a terribly interesting game, Hungry Pig. Peppa's popularity has gone far beyond the show. In just one year, the company sells what the heck is going on here. Well, Arnold, I've had enough. Take care of yourself, buddy. George, what a meeting. Look, have you ever wondered what would happen if you were buried alive? You fell asleep again with the ketchup. Ooh, a menstrual cycle. Wait, why the hell are you having a period? Arnold, it looks like you're intersex. There are 2% of people in the world who notice changes in their genitals during puberty. They change their billiard cue stick into a pocket and vice versa, if you will. Now I understand why this photo album was hidden from you all these years. So what gender are you, Arnold? Sex is determined in three ways. The first one is predominance of certain hormones in the body, estrogen in girls, and testosterone in guys. The second way is genetic. If you're a guy, then you have XY chromosome. If you're a girl, then XX. And the third one is gender. This is how you feel. Gender is not an innate thing, but a definition acquired throughout life. Oh, now you decide to update your wardrobe. Now your inner state is the same as your outer state, but your terrible sense of style is here to stay. Your life is gonna change drastically. You can be a man who's able to get pregnant. For example, how it was done by a married couple from Oregon, Tristan and Beth. By the way, the first man who got pregnant was also from Oregon. Oregon, hello, what's going on with you? Wow, Susie is paying attention to you. Arnold, you're lucky, but don't forget that you already look like a girl, but still behave like a typical guy. Great, your dream has finally come true. You and Susie together at last. Whoopsie daisy, we have some guests here. And looks like one of the guys likes you, Arnold. Ooh. Oh, false alarm. The guys turned out to be safe for you. But Susie's looking at you somewhat suspiciously. Is she? It doesn't matter how you look. The main thing is what you feel inside. So you don't need to divide everyone into masculine and feminine and pink and blue. Love is for everyone. I have a surprise for you. Today, you'll take part in an experiment. Don't worry, it's being done by real professionals. Or not. Let's check how the Earthlings act under conditions of fear. Is this noise really scary? I peed in fear. By the way, don't drink the juice. He's done 10,000 hours indoors. He doesn't look scared. Oh. And let's turn on weightlessness. Like in outer space. So, Arnold, are you ready to play the game in space? Well, or just fly by. On Earth, gravity holds you down, so jumping and flying away doesn't work. But if you can gain enough speed, then you can overcome the gravity of the Earth. The force of gravity and the force of inertia balance each other out, and you could fly safely in zero gravity around the Earth. Moving around in weightlessness isn't easy.
And certainly not with your lack of grace. Arnold, it seems you've discovered a new type of fuel, hydrogen sulfide. It can help you deal with the monsters. Luckily, you're not the only one who missed pre-flight training. Careful, Arnie. Looks like you broke the seal. Due to the open lock, the balance of gases is all out of whack. Get your suit on, Arnold! Hooray! You did it! But now there's another problem. How are you going to hear the monsters now? I think you'll just scare away all the monsters yourself. No, you're not deaf, Arnold. Sound mm -mm -mm. simply can't travel in a vacuum. Sound travels in waves. A vibrating object transmits its vibration to neighboring molecules or particles. In space, air molecules are so far apart that they can't transmit vibrations. No air, no sound. So it's better you just sit in the closet. As long as they let you anyway. Houston, we have a problem. Is this the last door? I wonder what's behind it. Arnold, hold on, it's not over yet. And now the end.